Limiting login attempts is must things you should implement on your website. Because what happens when somebody tried to log into your website so many times with wrong username, wrong passwords, or from a suspicious IP, which can be automatic robot, which is trying to access your IP. And what happens when you have so many attempts on your website, your website performance goes down. Sometimes your website can go down also. Okay, so let's implement this important thing on your website. So go to your WordPress dashboard, then hover on plugins and click on add new. And then search here, limit login attempts reloaded. You'll find this first plugin, limit login attempts reloaded, which blocks excessive login attempts and protects your site against brute force attacks. Simple yet powerful tools to improve site performance. And you can see they have 2 plus million active installation. It was updated 4 days ago. So it is a reliable plugin. And you can see they have almost 5 star rating. So just click on install now. So once it is installed, click on activate. So now this plugin is activated. You can find this plugin in left sidebar. Click on limit login attempts. So there's a dashboard and you can see failed login attempts is 0 because I just installed this plugin. But when you use this plugin on your website for a long time, you will see how many attacks it prevents on your website. Really nice plugin guys, everybody should use this plugin. And it really increases your website security and optimize the performance of your website. So after some time, there's some data here. And then you have some general option tools, help, global options. And then you have settings. In settings, you want to comply with GDPR, you can check this option. If you live in EU, Australia or any country which requires GDPR, CCPA. Okay, now the important thing. So you need to check this option, notify and lock out. You need to enter an email. And it will send you email if somebody tried to log in your website more than three times and the attempt was failed. So what it will do, it will block that IP or block that username which is trying to log in your website. And then these options are not really important. You can leave everything like this. Okay, so this option is really important. So this will define what will the hardness of the website security. So it's a lockout. How many are allowed to retry? So somebody can try four times before they get locked out. And how longer they will be locked out from your website? 20 minutes. You can change this number how you want. And then you can enter the number here for lockouts, increase lockout time to 24 hours. You can change this number as you want. And then 24 hours until retries are reset. You can change this as you want. By default, you can leave this, everything like this. It works really well. And then your logs here. So if you want to add your own IP so you don't get locked out, you can add your own IP here. And then if you want to manually block your IP, you can add that IP here. And what you can do, you can add the username which you want to block. For example, admin is a very common username. Everybody try to log into your website by using this username. And if you do not have admin username on your website, add it here. Or any common name you can add it here. If somebody tried to log in with this username, they will be immediately blocked. Then you have a debug option for help and details about the premium versions. And I highly recommend you to use this plugin. Hope you like the video. If it gives some value to you, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to make your website bulletproof, check out this video on the screen. And if you want to know how you get 100 out of 100 score for Google PageSpeed, check out this other video on the screen.